recording this in my new studio, honestly, the audio, I already hear it. There's a lot of echo, so it's... <laughs> yeah. So I moved in to this new studio. It's basically the same building where I did the rainbow room. I don't know if you recall that one. And in that video, it was uh, back in 2019. I said the building was going to be destroyed. Well, <laughs> it still is up. And it actually, after the whole uh, immersive room experience, they changed it into a sort of artist residency. And I've been wanting to come here, but I just didn't have the time because I had my solo show next last year. I had the coloring book on which I work this year. And uh, yeah, I just didn't have the time. And I recently moved in here two weeks ago, so it's very recent. So I cannot really say if I will actually like it for now of course i'm in the honeymoon phase so everything is great and shiny but yeah i don't know i did this because there are many artists here we are about 40 artists i'm not the most sociable uh, <laughs> bit of an introvert i thought it was cool to kind of meet more artists and i've been wanting to develop my work here locally somehow in france even i don't know and so I thought, you know, it's a sort of opportunity for me and I just should try it. So that was the first reason to try and find more contacts and possibly work with galleries locally or in France or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having high hopes. <laughs> and the second reason is because it's not at home and I've been wanting to try the whole go to your place during the day instead of working from home because I tend to overwork and obviously when you work from home you don't really have weekends and that kind of things and I thought okay well at least here I'm not going to come on the weekends because I'm going to be too lazy to do that so I had my first weekend at home without doing art and honestly I was a bit bored especially since I forgot my sketchbook in the studio and just I could not be bothered to come here it was also super hot those are the two main reasons that I came here and also um, actually a third reason for change of scenery it's nice to not be in the same place all the time <laughs> if I could change my studio every year I probably would but yeah that's not really an option so uh, yeah that's why I'm here now we repainted part of the room but we also kept it raw at some places just because I really liked the look of it and I wanted to paint it which I did during my first week so I was already really productive there are going to be open doors this weekend so i might add some footage on how it looks for the open doors this weekend because right now i mean you can see it it's pretty bare there's not much on the walls hence the echo the awful echo another great thing that i have here is i have an outdoor view <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy but at home i don't have an outdoor view it's a very specific home and basically it's in the middle of other houses and so we have an outdoor space but not a view apart from the sky which i mean and now it's pretty good view because i'm having the view on the port of van so the town where i live in so it's really pretty and i have a tree just here and you probably hear the rustling sound which is really nice as well and so far when it has been really hot the past weeks it's been rather comfortable here, probably because I have the shade of the tree and it's an old building. I'm going to be here until April because <laughs> that's when it still might get destroyed or it's still the plan to destroy the building and do something else instead of it because it's too old of a building to renovate it. So there have been many projects I'm not going to dive into it because <laughs> my boyfriend is an architect so <laughs> I know a lot about the situation yet. Mostly politics, honestly. Um, usually when architectural or urban plans don't go as well, it's because of the politics. Just, <laughs> But we're not going to dive into that because it would be too long and I'm not sure you would be that interested. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be destroyed at some point and we know that um, or the association that manages everything here, they know that we're here until the 31st of March so I know I'm going to be here until then and after that we don't know. I wasn't planning on staying here forever anyway so I'm glad it's that long. I was originally thinking I would be here for three months or something like that so in that regard for me it's really good 
And yeah, it gives me, and it's free. I should have noted that in the first place. So it's a free residency. That's why also I wanted to try it. I don't pay anything to be here. I don't pay rent. I don't pay electricity or heating or anything like that, water. It's not any loss. Uh, basically so if i don't like it let's pretend if like in two months or three months i'm like yeah just i want to go back home i just do and it's and it's that i didn't have to take a very complicated contract or pay up front or something like that so i feel it's really a chance and i know they want to potentially once this building is destroyed make another building also with artist residency so if i really love it maybe that's going to be an option because i do like the idea of not having your art studio or your full-time art studio at home because honestly um yeah you overwork which i don't think is really great uh, oh another bonus because <laughs> i'm talking about those is i walk quite a bit because it's not far away from home it's like 10 minutes by foot but i come here in the morning and then i have lunch at home so i go back and forth and then obviously in the evening I go back home so it's not a lot but still it kind of adds up and you know I like it it's nice it's nice because it's still summer I know it's not that hot I suppose when it's going to start being cold and rainy and windy I might be like why <laughs> so I don't know we will see um yeah that's pretty much all I had to say for today's video I hope you enjoyed this more talk to talk vloggy type of video i i haven't done one in so long mostly because of the coloring book anyway i really hope you enjoyed it if you saw this video up until now and listened to me thank you so much uh, please leave a building emoji if you find one or a city emoji or something like that um, yeah it, you have no idea it's like i love getting those emojis because it really motivates me i've been enjoying doing videos more and more lately, the longer formats, not the short formats, <laughs> those, no, but the longer formats for YouTube, I really like them. And the second thing is when you leave a little emoji, it really helps with the algorithm because, you know, engagement and stuff. So uh, even though I have no plans of becoming a huge YouTuber because it's just me doing art, so I understand that it's not super entertaining, but yeah, it still helps. Um, so yeah, thank you for that. and. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I also hope to see you in my next video. Bye!